Uh, I did a lot of I did a lot of clearing that out earlier. My vault was looking very very ropey. Oh god, yeah, I've kept I've kept stuff that I I, I don't want to get rid of. I've definitely kept stuff that I don't want to get rid of because like, the year one guns that were quest locked. It's, yeah, it, it's probably, it's probably how it's going to work. It's like I didn't get, I didn't get my Hawkman till, till Ruby Bait, so. Right, where are you then, dude? Are you in the, you're in the tower? Okay, no worries. I'm just... Switch in. <laughs> so Dude, as long as it's as long as you've got, um, as long as you've got a decent, have you got a solar, a good solar sec, solar secondary? The Galahorn will be fine. Solar burns on. We'll rinse it anyway. Ah, oh, crap, I've left all my crap on the... Sorry, again. Hunter. God. I've left all my... What do I call it? It's on the Hunter. My ammo synths and stuff. This won't take a second. I'll, I'll go to Orbit. I can transfer them in from the app. So where's Ellie? She's gone to... Uh, school. Ah, oh, I've got you. Hold on, I think, I think Morgan's just sent me a friend request. So we've got a third, oh look at it. Oh crap. Hold on, I'll come back out to the dashboard now. Whatever you want. She's finding on this. Find me right down the bottom of the friends and sending his name starts with a Y. Right, come on, phone. That's it. That's it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's good. If you're going to be quicker with June marches or the other, other uh, any of the three Titan exotic boots. Right, have you got your sword on you, Jim? Your, your new raise lighter. Cool. Uh, what are we are with? Okay, 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 okay. 
Yes. Send some party invites. So. So have I uh, just seen it. That's what's going through. Oh, if you join on me, dude. Right. Okay, right then, let's go. Nothing. No, it wasn't me. Okay, oh, we've got to go to the reef and grab the. You've got to get the suit, the sigil deep on this character, on the character you want. Yeah, okay, hopefully, it'll give. Uh, Carbonates now is it Dyron? Oh, why Dyron? That just sounds really weird. Sounds weird. Pronunciation. Let's see if he's in the Discord because he's not in the. Uh... Yeah. You ever killed? You ever, you ever done Sko last year? Because uh, I just hey here he is. He's joined us. How you doing, dude? Yeah, Jim's not got the Jim's not got the sigil. Slash plum is Jim. Far mark is Mark. How do I pronounce Y Dyron? <laughs> Andy, perfect. There we go. Hey. That's a lot easier to say. How are you doing? You're looking forward to the beta? Yeah, I can't wait. I'm, 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 in the back of my mind, I'm kind of hoping that, that they go uh, go a bit earlier than 6 o'clock, because it's 6 o'clock in the UK for us. Back on 6 o'clock on the night, yeah. Sucks. But anyway, we've got to change the setting. Oh, I think she pretty much. I think she pretty much already knows that I'm going to be from six o'clock onwards on Tuesday. That's it. And Wednesday I've got a physio appointment, but then it'll be more, 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 and more and more thoughts, opinions, everything. Um, so, Andy, have you, you've done scale last, haven't you? Yeah. Because I'm thinking scale last is good for the reps. You get like five hundred rep for him. And if you've done, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You haven't, you haven't done the nightfall yet. That's something. Jim, should we rectify that? Ah. I think we should do nightfall first because that way he'll. Yeah, let's do the nightfall first. It's so, so easy. Let's get the knot. Let's get the. Let's get the nightfall done for you, because that way, uh, that way you'll have you'll you'll benefit from even more XP when we do prison and challenge. I right, know we ready. We've got all got some solar guns, because it's solar burn. That's fine. You'll be fine. I just need to go and grab. I'll stock. Yeah. Outsider. Yeah. Please clarify. But when they needed us, when they needed a social space, quite possible. Yeah. Um, it's like. Hmm. 
You know, the, the reef. Dave, the reef turned up in a... The reef turned up in a really, really early... Um, oh, Andy, what, what clan are you in? The Des Dads of Destiny UK PS4 4. What's that all about? You know there's clan you know there's still a few clan tags available for the ones that me and Jim are in. So the, the, Guardians, we've picked up a high gain transmission. Origin point is somewhere along the coast. Which had like three people active in it. That's Rasputin, the AI warmind. If I'm understanding him correctly, it's a distress it's, call. It's, there are so few ballet fans left. Yeah, put, put, it, put it this way. It's a shame to lose him. Put it this way, at the moment, on there's five, six, seven, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen people in this clan online. A lot of them are the names you re you'll recognise from the Discord chat. We can't afford another omnibus. Much better if you can get in there. Yeah, the but if but the beauty the, is, if they're on your clan tag, you don't need them on your friends list unless you play other stuff with them. City as well. But de definitely try and get yourself across the main DoD UK PS4 because. You'll, you'll you'll contribute to you'll contribute to, to the good clan in uh, the next um, the next clan wars. Uh. Hey, just go solo and win it on your own. Win it on your own. Three hundred matches of Iron Banner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fate. You... Was that the plan all along when I went? <sighs> Hilarious. Well, they say little things please little minds. Oh. So you decided that the next time I went on, I went on Twitch. Sorry, guys, you are on Twitch, by the way. Um, the next time I went on Twitch, that she was going to mess her, and I was still going to mess around behind me. Because there's a little bit, there's a little bit where you can, behind me where you can see. I say, watch out for the wire rifles off these guys. They hit pretty hard, like solar burn one, one shot kills almost. Oh, it's some quest you've got to pick up or something. Some of the, yeah, it's, it's some quest you haven't finished on your Titan. It's not going to hurt you, just pick it up. Oh yeah, I think it is. As I can, you'd think Rasputin would have made this a little Why stealing your kills against you? You can help me with the tortured wizard, but I don't go down as easily. <laughs> All the caps, I'm getting out of there, they can't get no grenades. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee, Jim. Good priorities there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this heavy ammo. I need some. I do like this fever and remedy hand cannon. 46,000 with a precision shot in this, in this strike. Solar burn plus pro small arms. And we're done, I think. <coughs> I've got access. Jeremy Beagle. 
and then we're done. Yeah, I'll happily play anything that uh, anything that gets me house of judgment, right? It shouldn't be, because that's what the preload's all about. So you basically just open up and log in. It might there might be a slight delay on logging in. So it's anything like when Rise of Iron launched. Me and Marvin were there at ten o'clock waiting to start, and as soon as um, and there was a queue, it was a right mess. There was a massive queue. We just went, oh, forget it. We're gonna play Borderlands for an hour. Played Borderlands for an hour. Went back and right on the blight, Jim. It's all good. There's some solar grenades down there. I could light the place up a bit. Switch primary. Hold on. Yeah, la, 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 la. Let's have to die first. Down. That's it. I can try to override his system locks, but rest depends on the strike. It always depends on what you're actually doing. Must be some other way to bypass his system. Well, that's a terrible one. I didn't even go down the tube, and it set me on fire. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, someone needs to get something in the hole for me because I missed. Yep. Try to find if you would be so kind. Ooh, okay. Wow. He is really pretty mad at us. I think. It's all right. Let's yes. Go. Yes, he just threatened us with orbital death from above. Let's get moving. I made a mistake, I forgot to bring my auto right, my Abyss Defiant, this which I'd use for this section, but stick to the vision. Okay, Andy's going for it, I'll cover you. Totally That's a terrible grenade, you completely the wrong place. That grenade should clear the rest of the night. <laughs> it's okay if somebody, if people actually shoot the shanks. If people just stand there and wait for you to do it, it's like, no, dude, it's a team game. You've got to help. This is the room I always die in, so don't don't expect anything different this time. It's bedlam. This room is bedlam. What you got on your bubble gym armor or weapons? A blessing. Ah, but they're not gonna you're better off with giving us Alright, oh, putting a putting a, a, a grenade in there. We did still up at the back. Trying to get rid of her, she's falling those little shadow bollocks. Right at the back on the on the back right. Got her. And the and you got the one picked out the band up as well. Perfect. I'll catch up with you in a second. Just gonna post this. Uh no, if you you know, weapons, so we can kill stuff quicker. 
no, but no, every little helps. Actually, no, put it on, put it on blessings if you get it pop, get it repping and out and rinse him. I just completed a take and bounce it from even though I had. A little bit when that happens. That's because unlike when we did it the other night with uh what's it now, we're actually killing everything. As a fellow inorganic life form, I just want to note that Rasputin has a much better setup than I do. He has a secret bunker with space weapons. I live in your backpack. Right. I am gonna lob lob my two grenades to get him burning while he rinse him and then if need be I'll I'll rest that I'll pop my radiance and Where you want to put it towards the back here, but wait till he's spawned. And... About where the wreck of this thing is at the back, so we've got room to move forward and shoot him. Over here, Jim. Pop it, that's that'll do it. Blessings, we've got a shield to defend against it. Oh, right, where's he gone? Let's take it out. He just teleported up in the air. He teleported up in the air above us. Punched him to death. <laughs> there we go. Happy nightfall. You know, they probably built that thing out of scrap from the Cosmodrome. It's lucky that it managed to work as well as it did. Maybe it was the size. It was pretty big. For a shank. Hmm. Would I be more useful with a larger chest? Baron's ambition again. Yes. Oh, a solo one. In any case, Guardian. Good, good. Now it's going to be different roles. Work. Excellent. The skies oh, will remain that. free of weapons. For the time being. Right then, uh, let's do a let's do a challenge. Uh, you know what? Let's let's. Hey, it's over. How dare you? We triple tap and third eye. Yeah. Right. Let's do. Okay. Cool. Let's just go into uh, change. Right, so let's have a look. So now you've got the Nightfall book, you get 25% extra rep. So we can do. So the three Challenge of Elders, all the one, like Machine Wrath, Call of the Worm. Skolas, they're gonna they are net us almost a thousand or well, twelve hundred and fifty ref towards House of Judgment if we can clear all those. And I actually it amusing me that it says hard. <laughs> Whereas uh level forty a level forty one arena is easy. It's just death. Um let's just have a look how we get into the ref. Oh, I made a mistake ages ago and I dismantled my Hand of Judgment scout rifle. Which you get. Hey? Eh? <laughs> oh man. See, my, the, best thing, the worst thing was the one I had was a really nice roll. It, behaved, it was basically. It had high caliber on it and, one of the, and it behaved like a miter. It was that good. So it literally knocked everyone for six, and it, oh, what was the perk it had? Not Zen moment, on that gives it more damage, like, with every shot. Oh, what's the one where you, you kill something, the precision kill, when you get an extra damage on your next kill? But it, made, it basically made Challenge of Elders really, really easy, because you'd like get a headshot on the first one, maybe a body headshot combo on the first guy, and then, because of the damage buff that kicks in, every next shot was a headshot, one shot, just killing everything, so... And then I made the mistake of dismantling it. And I want to get one back. What do you say? You've got what on it? 
that's that's the that's the perk I think that's the that's the perk yes you get a kill you get more damage so basically you get any old kill with your first one then you get bonus damage on the next kill but yeah stability wise it's definitely a brace frame job I think but no that's that's pretty good that's what I want Because you've got Hand of Judgment, you've got um, Soul Stealer's Claw, uh, the Pulse Rifle, uh, the Aegis of the Reef, which is quite good. Well, I used, used to be good, it's not so much anymore. Um, let's do a standard one first. And then the Hand Cannon, what's the Hand Cannon called? It's got a stupid name. You've got Crow's Eye, Crow's Eye Sidearm. That's what. Yeah, but it's not every single perk on every single page, Jim. It's you can you can miss out like a page like two two whole pages, I think, and you can still get a hundred percent. You just got to pick the what pick the ones you need and pick the ones you want and get them done. Right, so Jim, if you get your sword on. This first round, because you're going to be our uh, flyer killer. You believe this? My, up, my upload of my Until Dawn playthrough to YouTube has a content co content copyright strike against it. Because of some music that's in the background on the, within the game itself. So, pathetic, isn't it? Round anyway. one. So it's solar burn, but it's specialist. So your best solar special. Jim. Jim. That's, that's, that's been like, he's, he's done that for for ages that's a schoolboy error it's always done that you've got to either, you don't put one in when you're dead you don't put one in when you're in orbit it only works which when you, you only it only it only works when your boots on the ground <laughs> we've got it for, this guy's gonna be dead before he hits the floor anyway so solar burn special uh solar burn specialist i believe the modifiers let's just double check before we go in we're doing this. I know it's just solar burn, so just wreck the dude. Um, yeah, if need be, we can deal with it. We can deal with uh, deal with these boys for his little, his little sods and sods afterwards. We're just going to ki kill these as quick as possible. We're not doing it for the points. We're doing it for the rep. I've got a house of judgment booster on as well, guys. So. He's dead. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, don't forget, don't forget your three coins. Uh, avoid the flyers; they're immune. <laughs> Return to if you kill him, if you kill him that quick, all three flyers are immune and angry. There we go. And would you believe the next two are easier? Um, at the end, you got a chance of getting Queen's Breaker Bow, Lord of Wolves, or Dreg's Promise as an exotic drop, specifically from this. At um, and then at the <laughs> as, and, and, but each, each runs like each runs like three chances to get exotics anyway with three coins. So it's worth using them. I know they're supposed to be like a time out and whatever, but just burn through them if you got them. <laughs> he, screen, he screenshots lots of these, you see. Ah, 
armor. melted over here, there's too many of them. Where need he go? Oh wow. <laughs> Enemies die. I think the game knows I've got every exotic and doesn't drop me any more at all ever. Return to airlock, guardian. Do the rewards at the rewards at the end are all, aren't three aren't aren't four hundred? The chat if you drop one of the exotic guns, which is add in addition to the end of challenge rewards, they could be. What would well, the reason we're running through this so quickly is to get the reputation to build up our house of judgment rank. And it obviously, we, obviously, with us all having nightfall boss now, it's going to be quicker. We get more rep. This is why after we've done this run, we're going to do the Skolas run. Because although it's year one, it's 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 500 rep for finishing it, which becomes 625 rep with a Nightfall buff. And even more with House of Judgment booster. Round three. Oh, this guy's going to go down like a sack of spuds as well. Heavy weapon loaded. He's going to be right, he's going to stand right in the middle. He's going to just fire those little take and blight things out. <laughs> bye bye. He's gone. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing how quickly quick it is, isn't it? Let's see how quickly we did it. Six minutes, sixteen seconds was how much quickly we did it the other night. Although, to be fair, two hundred and fifty rep for that. We should just keep rinsing this. It's so quick. Because Skolas is five rounds plus a boss plus Skolas for six hundred rep. No, no, you don't, you don't get it yet, dude. You have to, it's when you get it's when you it's when you get a orbit. That's why you let. No, it is. It's it's really it's it can wreck people. Because there's there's, there's, there's better options. Most kills, low score, results. go again. Yeah, that's the quickest way to get rep, just rinse that 250 at a time. Plus if you've got the bounties, you're working slowly towards them too. So, so that's where you would have you know, that's where you would have got the, uh, the the Lord of Wolves at that point, it would have popped into your inventory right there. Every time, dude. A chance every time. It used to be fairly high. It seems to I seem to find that it's slowed down quite a bit. I mean, I haven't had an exotic drop at the end of that for donkeys, but then conversely, I haven't played it very much in the last. Get 
So, sign again. Welcome to Prison of Elders. Prepare for combat. Prepare for combat. Round one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that after this one. No, we're not. It's going to be. Let's go last battle through to get to him. He's like doing the standard deal. One prison of elders with two boss fights at the end. So we'll just keep doing this. Scarlass is uh, not difficult, it's just. Yeah, time to rep kind of a ratio. This is better. Ah, he's got a shield up this time, we weren't so quick enough. Solar, anyone see the solar, fl solar flyer? Need to find the solar flyer. Need to kill him. We need to get him killed, then he's done the big shit. There we go, nicely done. Now kill him, now the boss. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Ooh! They are dead. Uh, sleeper, it's sleeper simulant. Go back to if you've already got it, it's a bit of, bit of wreck for the gunsmith. Painless one. I did bring me this defiant. Oh, Round idiot. two. I've got you three of disappointments. If you have any. A servant of Oryx hungers. Still no exotics, but he gave me some heavy ammo, which is nice. Come on, you're that. Turn to Airlock, Guardian. Did anyone clock the time on our last one, by the way? How quick was it? He took me. He only took me ten minutes of the day to solo this. There wasn't much cover going on, dude. It was it was lobbing grenades and burning the guy down. The first one gives you the most trouble because if you don't get him killed quick enough, you got to deal with the flyers, which is all which is awkward. Round three. Okay. Nightfall buff had nightfall buff adds tw had twenty five percent. To every every rep you get to the reset. Yeah. Texas, the I didn't betrayed. use I didn't use to add rep to Nightfall to Iron Banner, but it does now because I added it back after Iron Banner. So it's it's twenty five percent to everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, juggler's on. I didn't even see him die. There's too much going on in front of him. Well earned. No tons of fifty rep sorted. Still didn't finish top on the points. That's disgraceful. We're edging ever closer to the uh Let me wait for the screen. Well, you'll hit, you'll get if you get the exotic, you'll get it when we go to Warby anyway. Uh, tower was it? Yep. Yeah. Sort your postmaster out. So the end game rewards are useless and they're always useless blueies and the exotic drops at the orb at orbit when you go to orbit manually or otherwise so you're not missing anything Jim you could have got it you'd have got it Let's clear, let's clear the inventory so now. Go again. Let's hope the barracks has a decent gun for me. It doesn't give me something stupid like the crow's eye, which he always seems to give me. My postmaster's got something cool. Slayer of Oryx, then? Wonderful. Yes. Always interesting. Service restored. Have a marvelous day. A blue helmet engram, just what I always wanted. Cade scabs are brought to the Have you guys decided which subclass you're going to try first on the beta? That's what most people are saying. I can't bring. I can't bring myself to play something other than Warlock to start with. Yeah. But still, I'm going Warlock on the on the beta. My plan is to. Once it's loaded, is to do the do the story mission on my own, so I can go and explore and mooch around. Then do the strike. Yeah, it'll be story first on my own, then join, then jump into the strike and get that done. I'm just hoping that the cat. I'm, I'm hoping, even though there's no social space, I'm hoping that the character you're given in the beta does actually level up as you play because it's just if it, 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 if you're just given like a generic puppet to play with that kind of isn't gonna you know it's not it's like jumping on and playing with somebody else's character you know and i'd rather i'd rather not our colony failed our machines were not adequate to the task of preserving life we were not adapted to local conditions I, I just think I wish to speak to you. A little, yeah. That's why I don't go on the Destiny. For, I don't go on the Destiny forums anymore because they're so vile. It's full. It's full of people slagging off the game. It's like, well, don't fucking play it. Then. Don't, don't come, to, come to the forums and talk about it. Destiny sucks sort a of bungee arse, bungee arse, ass, ass or something. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it sucks, it sucks so bad that you, you, you leveled yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, because that makes sense. Checking for packages. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on as long as it takes to get myself ranked up. So, and I thought, and the O4, you got to go to rank up you. Oh wow, that's that's ten runs, which realistically is an hour at this pace. That's when you when you rank up Varrick's you get one of his guns like the hand, like the hand of judgment scape that uh, Andy's using at the moment. Or or the Soul Stealer's Claw. How far are you away from ranking up House of Judgment? How many Ah, uh, yes, I think I remember. Transmissions to the reef resume shortly. Up to you, dude. You ready to go? Drop out and swap team, just join, just rejoin the fire team afterwards. We're gonna go. We're gonna dive in and crack on. As long as you rejoin by then, before we kill the third boss. That is. Let's go again. I'm gonna go back to the hand cannon. That was hand cannon was it was a lot more damage. Team Katie, thank you for following. Let's do another six, you can beat six minutes. Had new had Virgin come out yesterday, did we got got in touch with them, got a better deal off them, right? Which included the, the, the new the latest hub and an upgrade to the late the was it two hundred meg broadband or something. Even though the, all the speed tests I've ran on the phone on the PC clocking at 170, 180 meg, the PC Listen seems slower. Elders <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Everything else, the phones are fine, the tablet's fine. But the PC just seems to be chugging along. I don't know. Down one. Here we go. Right. Uh, we got this. Cabal strategist. Bow. Jim, be honest. Yeah, you take your daughter along and you do the ballet. Toasty, 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 gone. Nicely done. You know what helped? What helped that time? They are. I actually managed to land my first solo grenade on him. This Viking funeral kicks in. Who was solo ones taking damage? Well, so am I though. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the um What's the same? Yeah. T V package stayed the same. Better but we got the new V6 hub, so we can record, watch and record six different things or something. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it's just like I said, whilst everything seems to be Round two. better for whatever reason, the PC just seems to be slow. So I have to have a mess around with it tomorrow afternoon. 2 a.m. Monday. It's Monday night, 2 a.m. I think. Was it Saturday night, 2 a.m.? Oh no, so the Sunday, so the Sunday, 2 a.m. or Monday, 2 a.m. I didn't even think about the, uh, the the Taken that was spawning behind me. I just kept shooting him. I was Return like, oh, he's going to die before they even shoot me. Guardian. If we can rinse the next guy that quick, then this could be the quickest one yet. Couple of Viking funeral grenades. It stacks three times, I think. So three stacks of it. <laughs> it's like good night. Ah, see, that makes sense. For most kills, most points. Uh, this one. Round three. Get this done. Texas, the betrayed. betrayed. Ah, seems the PC seems to have sorted itself out. Got the kill on that guy at the end. Put me into first place. <laughs> Alright, it's going to take ages to get these hated. Okay. <sighs> Fast was that? Four minutes nine seconds, guys. <laughs> Four minutes nine seconds. That's that's. I think that's my fastest ever. It'd be fast if the first one wasn't that. It wasn't the, the cabal dude, because you got the you got that worry about him dropping getting the getting the flares on the go. But when it's just when we melting him that quick. Dude, it would be, be it'd take me twice as long to grind this out on my own. <coughs> There's a couple of the queen's weapons I want, but I can't. But when it's when the when the when the modifiers are so friendly like this week for a quick rin, quick rinsing, it's there's no point trying to play for the uh, for the points. You might as well just just keep kill, keep finishing it as quick as possible and play for the reputation instead. Ooh, hello, is that is that a is that a smite of morale? Welcome to prison of elders. Oh, okay. Prepare. Is it the adept solo one? Oh, the harrowed. Huh? Have we not done any of the raids. Round one. Uh, all right. Okay. 
Ah, uh, got you. Cabal strategist, Val Arun. Yeah, we did. We did. Um, we crowed didn't we? Ah, he's not in the. He's not in the grenade. Oh, he's in them now. Blimey! <laughs> Come on, Val. Come on, Val. Come on, Val. Come on, Val. Come on, you back in airlock, that was quick. Guardian. I don't think he had a chance to, to work out where he was. Oh, Jim got an exotic. Hey, worst case scenario, Jim, it's, it's a set of 400 stuff you can infuse into something. It took us longer to run back into the airlock than to kill him. <laughs> so you don't even get in 200 rep if you didn't have a nightfall booster. I think. <laughs> Jim, Jim, you got an assist, mate. That was it. <laughs> Round two. Good. Uh, yeah. Look at Chinook on the night falls of the night. Well, that's that's that that's all captured on video, by the way. His night falls where where he finished the nightfall and got nine kills. It's all captured on my Twitch channel on the video section. If you read the descriptions, I think it says I think it says Dad's a Destiny Night Falls or something. If you read the description, it mentions one of the one one of the players only getting like nine kills. Bye. Your victory tells the tale. Go back to Airlock, yes. What? Yeah, it's cool. I, I like the design. I, I, I played this Challenger Elders to death when it first came out. Every week without fail did the sigils on all three characters. It was brilliant. Dude, I'm, I'm a... I'm a I've seen some of the stats here. I'm a, I'm a novice compared to some of the guys in the clan. Yeah, it's still. Fourth by about a thousand hours, dude. The stew was almost near the top. Then he plays hours and hours and hours and hours of Crucible every weekend. Like he, probably, he probably plays 60 hours of Crucible at the weekend. He's a young kid, he's a student. Hey, but at the end of the day, he's that he's that well he's that good at it. He got me to the lighthouse. I'd drop him. Dude. Dude, it don't matter. I I don't barely do it. Drop him under the message to remind him. So I don't mean to bug you, but are you gonna be free to do a lighthouse run at any point soon? Crap, he jumped he jumped to Oh crap, I got killed. No way. <laughs> Jim, what did you? Oh, you got your sword out. All right, so. Your victory tells the tale. <laughs> did he still didn't get it? Oh, I'm I'm, uh, I'm screenshotting that, Jim. You never managed to kill. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, at least that orb generating uh, orb generating bounty is going up slowly. All the solar grenades were throwing. I'll churn that one out soon. Anybody, anything for anybody in orbit? No? Let's go again.
four minutes twenty-three that was. That was a bit that was a bit slower, guys. Come on. Slacking man, this pack the pace is tailing off. <laughs> Gotta got sort this out. Did you wanna go? See I think Poppy could do this. It's that easy. You th you press one button, it throws a solar grenade and then the guy the enemies just die. Marvin's just started watching, sneaking around on Twitch. Hey Marv, how are you doing? Hi Donut Man. Fee says hi. Of course you Donut Man now, that's your, that's your official name for bringing donuts to me in hospital, Marvin. <laughs> His game attack isn't Donut Man, Fee. I said it could be you heard that, Marvin, you're apparently to change your game attack to Donut Man. Or Cake Boy. Or Cake Boy. There you go. It's official. Yeah, it's like it was like a really shit superhero. It's like, it's like the Gregs of superheroes. <laughs> Donut Man and <laughs> Donut Man and Cake Boy. Who's but who's the psychic? Or was it Cake Boy and Donut Man? Cake Man and Donut Boy. Works on so many levels. All right, four minutes nine seconds to beat, guys. No faffing around this time. Good night. You can lean in and give me a. I'm off the screen. Look, you can lean in. Yeah, there's, yeah, that, there. Hello, Fee. Yeah. There's Fee. Look, there's Fee. Up there. Fee saying hello. Spider fingers. Right. Fee, yeah. Fee, the, Fee spider fingers, the, the master villain. Arch enemy of Cake Boy and Donut Man. <laughs> Oh, you black spindling now, you. Right, back in. Come on. Airlock, airlock, airlock. Let's go. You well done. Oh, Andy, come on. To airlock. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Don't make me get a stopwatch out of my phone. Cost us, cost us seconds then. <laughs> Look at that, three kills for 145 points. They were good. Jim's, Jim's top! I didn't know, because yeah, it ain't going to be top for long. He could have screenshotted it himself. <laughs> I got a screenshot of the last one where he got no kills. <laughs> facing the wrong way. Oh shit! We lost a bit of time then, so I was facing the wrong door because the flares are still getting pissed in, in the in the cabal room. A of They're still pissed that we, ki that we killed him so quickly. They're running around. Look at those chickens. Right, here we go. Do my obligatory three shots on the uh, kill these three vex on the left. Come on, burn in. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, that was quick. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Your exotic will be at the postmaster, leave it. Return to airlock, guardian. I forgot to put one on. But I have no reason to be using these, I just have to do something with the amount of strange coins I have. I bought a load of glass needles as well and spent half an hour this afternoon fiddling around with the, with the different exotic gauntlets trying to get auto rifle loader on them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh no. Hey, your gloves look cool. Hey, you're a titan. Hey, we've got cool gloves. Yeah. Okay, I got. Almost got my second solo. So almost got my second solo grenade ready. Let's hope he doesn't jump out of the grenade this time.
Whoops. He's gone further back. That's sad. Ah, oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Victory. Well earned. I got my. Exit. I got. Took the top spot by 30 points. Well, you're clearly not hitting your crits, Jim. Get good. <laughs> get good or get ripped. <laughs> the time on that one was 3.48. That's our quickest one yet. I think we can. Dude, you're fine. Oh, contacting Destiny servers. Great. Um, it's, um, it all depends as well on... The solar grenades only stack up to three. So, even if... Uh, Oh no, they, no, for the damage multiplier I mean, so yeah, as long as, the more we can get on him, the more burns it's going to affect him, but, but the damage multiplier is only up to three, but what, what grenades are you, are you using on your Titan? Badger, badger grenades, <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> Magnetic. Oh, you're on top. Dude, switch to, switch to, switch to your Sunbreaker. Don't worry about the bubble. We don't even need it. Yeah, but dude, this is an, this is an obvious way of leveling it. <laughs> Switch to it. Because at least you can get it leveled up. Yeah. Are you all right? You've got the grenades leveled up. So, uh, dude, thermite grenade. Because I guarantee you, if you lob that at the foot of the uh, the, the, the cabal dude. You're going to score some kills, because when it goes off, it's like a big wall of fire. But he's gone to bed. It's like a big wall of... Like the Lion Dancer. To prison of the Iron Man armor. Fight. Kill. Survive. Right. right. We'd, well, I'll tell you what, if, if, we'd, if I'd had the run to the wrong door for the second round, then we'd have probably shaved five seconds off that 348. Round one. So I was still at the Cabal door because I saw the red on the radar because of the bloody... What's I call it? Those little shits. <laughs> so Jim, wait till, the, wait till he gets the... Wait till the, the, the flyers, the Scions come in. Lob your grenade at his, at his feet in front of us and watch, watch the wall of fire sprout up. It's brilliant. Oh well, he's gone. Go back to the. Uh... <laughs> Your victory. Oh, I wanted to get back in the, back in here before we even talked about the victory. Go back to Airlock. That was slow, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, what other dances have I got? Anything better than that? Uh... Oh, yeah, I have. I don't want to face palm anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's like school sports day when when the kids get a get when it means nothing because there's no actual com competition going on. But uh, oh mate, it, it was it was Oscars today. And a fee was supposed to go, and I said to so I said, don't, what's the point? I said, because you'll go there, and you'll talk to me, he'll just, he'll just go, he'll just go, how are you getting on? So he'll just like, I don't know, I don't know, just running around for 10 minutes. <laughs> or, yeah. Oscar, the one that I did go to at Langley in Solid, the one that I did go to, 
thing. <laughs> he, um, they did a penalty, but the worst one they did was like a, they, Andy, they did this penalty shootout thing, they had these little, little inflatable goals. And they'd have to line up in teams of six and kick penalties, just in, just roll the ball into the goal. And some of them, some of the kids were, let's just, best, better, well, let's just say uncoordinated, to put it mildly. Um, and some of them were, were like clearly played football and could score goals. And so my, my son's team did like, um, like took like 12 penalties and scored 12. The team next to him scored like four. And they moved on to the next um, event. Texas, the and I asked the girl who was right tallying the scores down which team won, and she pointed to the other, to, like the yellow team. I went, "Hold on, my son's team just scored every goal. How can they have lost?" And she just shrugged her shoulders. She goes, "I don't make up the rules." I was like, "What rules?" There's a lack of competitiveness at schools now, though. Oh, and that's it, he's dead. We can't affect the timer now, I don't think. They are oh, what have we got? What's he putting up in the air up here for? Are not. Oh, Sublime Engram. Nice. Oh, Flamart takes that one. More kills than both you put together. Boom. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying. I'm dropping. I am generating all for three runs. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, Jim, check your top. Three minutes twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. I don't think, I don't think there's a reward for rank one. Do you want to go to the reef and check? I think your first reward package is rank three, and then every week, every week at rank three, you get a little judgment grant or something package of Varix. He likes, he gives. You, Sack of drugs. Have some space crack, Guardian. As if the game wasn't like crack enough. Oh. Uh, Marvin was watching, he's not watching anymore. Have you got, Jim, have you got, um, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, the first one. Did you get the Ultimate Edition with all the DLC and shit that was like nine quid on the store the other week? Or did you have the game anyway? Uh, so if you fancy playing something different during the, over the course of next, I, I have been, I've, I've done a couple of tutorial missions and that's it. I wouldn't mind giving that a go, but I don't want to go in on my, on my Todd into like 16 v 16 battles and get murked. Round one. Is it is it is it bad or? I've done. I think I've done the. I've done the tutorial, the loading mission with Darth Vader, the speeder bike tutorial mission, and the X-wing tutorial mission, and that's it. There's a guy I there's a there's a retreat to airlock. 2014, he's three. <laughs> wow. Oh it's another screenshot job. Jim's Jim's taking it all on then. Jim's sniping was on point. 
Yeah. Well, only three things died, dude, and you killed them all. <laughs> Round two. I don't know what you're on about, Jim. <laughs> A servant of Oryx hungers guardian. Come on, we got three minutes twenty-three, was it, to beat? No. Oh crap, I fell, I fell in the pit at the bottom. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get died. Oh, no, thank you for killing him quick enough. I thought I was gonna die then. <laughs> they are dead. You are not. Oh, barely alive. Retreat to airlock. I tell you what, I keep, I keep. One thing I keep doing for this, I know it's sad because there's nothing to, that none of them carry forward, is I keep getting the treasure packages every week. So I want to try and get all of those, those, uh, all the emotes, all the silly dance emotes and stuff. I'm only missing about nine now from all of them. All of them. Oh, ornaments! I've got. I'm missing one from the cost of a thing. No, I mean all the all the dancing, all the silly gestures. Betrayed. Betrayed. Um, no. He has a Grimoire card. Enough well grenades. <laughs> Can't believe the fucker killed me. Boom. <laughs> it was a tactical death. <laughs> oh, one more run and I've leveled up. Bugger. I thought that was it. Oh, I managed to get seven orbs generated in that run. It's ticking along rather slowly, but hey. I'll tell you what, the, the exotic drops from this have been terrible. The, the, um, okay, well, after this run, we'll let this one go to orbit normal and see what happens. Oh, I just got myself to my legs are aching today, man. Ah. I've stopped using the, using the frames or the crutches around the house, Jim. I've been walking around on my gammy leg. It, it do not. Not particularly. I still can't bend it past 40, 40 degrees ish. But I've, I've I've got a I've got a mess I've got a method of walking that makes me not look like the fucking penguin from Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not too bad. I've got a. I just wish I could fucking bend it. So I was trying to connect up the new Virgin box and the, and the router with it, and I had to get Oscar to come over and help because I couldn't get behind the teller. That was the right place. Oh, I have here. Yeah. Dun, dun. Welcome to Prison dun, 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 dun. of Elders. Are you guys using snipers? You are, aren't you? Survive. I've been using my suit, my su su Susanu. What? what this one that I'm using? It's the Fever and Remedy. It's the um, Adept, Adept Wrath of Wrath of the Machine hand cannon. It's the only Adept weapon I got from Wrath of the Machine. You're still using the Scout, yeah. There's for him to jump into. He's... <laughs> I was going to stand and let him die, but that's just stupid. Your victory tells the tale. 
I don't know. It could have been. It could have been the grenade burn that killed him, man. Go back to but what I, what I like is the fact that there's no AI in him, in him at all. He starts the fight by leaping into the middle and leaping to the front, and that's it. There is no um, there is no tactics involved in what he does. Once, yeah, once he. Hey, dude. How are you doing? Oh, uh, well. Right. I see the join us, Mr. Imperium. We have a viewer, we have a chatter in the chat, everybody. Oh, yeah, precious on to do this really quick. This Let's is a game mode for a uh, challenge of elders. It's basically three arenas, kill the bosses. We're doing it really, really quickly because the modifiers are very helpful this week. So we're doing it really quick in order to uh, earn lots of wreck. Yeah, dude, it, it can be quite confusing this, this game mode because because of the way we're approaching it. Normally, it's not over as quick as that. <laughs> Normally, you've got to kill the enemies, then damage the boss, then kill the enemies, then damage the boss, and do it in waves. But we can uh, do it really, really quickly because, well, a we're badasses, <laughs> and b it's got a solar modifier, which means that the, the fire grenades and stuff are doing more damage than normal. Yeah, it's a little less confusing than the game of um, Ryan you watched me play earlier, which was me running around in a nice cell shaded landscape, pushing rocks and... Have you played Ryan, Jim? Andy, have you played it? Witness, I, I want to get Witness, I'm waiting for him to drop to sub 15 quid, I refuse to pay that much for a game that's basically a glorified sliding puzzle, isn't it? Sliding puzzle with walking around an island. They are dead. <laughs> you are not. What did it, what? Hang on. Uh, I ranked up for that time. I mean, I've had 250 rep every rank up. That time it gave me 249. What's that all about? So I'm going to raise a ticket on Bungie's website and, <laughs> and shout at them. You know, because I'm like, I think you owe me one rep for House of Judgment. Uh, what? Uh, oh man, I'm, f I'm on 487 views of my Twitch channel. In that's individual views of my Twitch channel in the last month. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I got 60 62 followers now, including the, um, uh, Mr. Imperium, RL Imperium, who's following, who's watching right now and getting awfully confused about what the hell is going on. He said to me earlier, I was watching him play. I was chatting to him while he was playing Rocket League. He said he um, he's loaded. He's played the game briefly, but didn't really get on with it. He says he's still got the disc knocking around at home somewhere. I told it, I said, then we, then I let him know about the Destiny 2 beta that's going to be open house this uh, Thursday. Is it going to be open to everybody? It's Tuesday PS4, isn't it? Wednesday, Xbox. And Thursday, it's... Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm desperately, desperate to get into that farm and kick some chickens on Sunday night when they open that up to everybody. It's... It's, uh, I'm going to kick some chicken. I'm going to kick some chickens and play some football in the farm. Um, anyone, how close are we to leveling up, guys? I know you're a why and why, Jim. Andy? Uh, 
Okay, two more, two more runs. Then we'll go to the reef because I've just I've just ranked up. But let's, let's, oh no 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 no, just again, wrong one. Two more runs. We'll go to the outpost. That's not where me and Andy will get our gear. <coughs> Hello, mate. I got some drugs for you. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing the beta next week. I mean, being off work when the beta drops is going to be shit financially, but brilliant for the fact that I can play it to death. Um, I'm, I've got I've got a couple of things on during during the beta. Like we've got um, I've got a physio appointment on Wednesday, more Wednesday afternoon. My daughter's little party for a birthday on Wednesday afternoon. Even though birthday's the end of the week, the following week, the weekend rather. Um, but majority of it, I've said to, I've said to the wife, I'm, I'm gonna just. What I'm probably gonna do is once once I've played the, the strike and the story mission few, through with a few people, I'm pretty much gonna play the crucible mode. Because one thing I'm gonna do in to Destiny Crucible's 2 is I'm not gonna lag behind when it comes to crucible skill. Fight. I'm gonna I'm gonna play crucible from day one alongside the rest of the game. Dude, there was um, it'd be, it'd be fine because you just you just even though it's the same map, you just approach it differently every time. I mean, I'm going to try all sorts. I'm going to try. There's no snipe. You're not going to get cat sniper camps on this on the new game because you can only get you only get your snipers when you get your power ammo. So it's going to be a hell of a lot more fun, I think. Just let him die, he's gonna burn to death. Don't even shoot him. Oh, the sod, he got out of the fire? Don't have him that. <laughs> the sod, he walked, he walked out of the flames? The bugger. They are dead. You oh, well. oh, he comes in. And now his mates come out, look. Now his mates come out. Give him a quick, quick salute and run away. <laughs> bless. They must be so confused, bless them. Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Valar Space was here a second ago. What's going on? Aren't we supposed to give him a shield? I think it's a bit too late for that, bud. Oh, God. Again. Oh, this happens every... This happens every time there's a fucking solo burn. <laughs> I told you should have stayed in the back. Round two. Yeah, Jim. Jim knows the way, everybody. A servant of Oryx, hungers, oh yeah, he, he was funny. I was, stream, I was streaming Rhyme earlier. This this puzzle game, uh, kind of expl exploration puzzle game thing. You, you know what it is, Andy. You play. You know what the idea behind it, yeah? Like find your way around the island, kind of thing. Solving the puzzles to get off the island, not get off. <laughs> oh wow! How quickly have you melted that guy? I barely got into position. <laughs> Um, and, as I, and I was chatting away, a couple of guys you were chatting to me in the text while I was playing, I was talking to them and I was and whatever else. And then, yes. and then my, wife, my wife got home with, with Poppy, my daughter, and she, she said, uh, I, was, I was still chatting as they came in, and she went, who are you talking to? And I was like, talking to the guys that are watching me play this game. Oh, she went. And then proceeded to unveil all her shopping to me, one item at a time. Got this shirt for three pounds. This was on sale. <laughs> I was just like, three. <laughs> I don't think she quite understands the concept of it. I told, I told her, I told her I'm doing it mainly because you know I've, I've something to focus on, something to do while I'm off work for so long. Um, plus, it gives me something to construct it to channel into the game, you know what I mean? It's not just me sitting here for hours playing games. I mean, was, I mean for a start, potentially. But... Oh, 
Potentially, there's um, you know, you can you can earn from doing your this. Victory you get Twitch, you get Twitch affiliate, and you can get people subscribe to your channel monthly, and you get the revenue, and you know, Twitch affiliation. Yeah, you know, it's it's a, it's a it's a terrible condition. And you know, and and I was talking to one of the guys earlier, and he was like, "Just your wife understand what 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 is." Like. See, two hundred and fifty rep that time he didn't skank me that time. Um, and I said honestly, you know, she came in, starts unveiling the shop into me. Then she sit. Then when I thought I end the stream because I suddenly because she's there, I can't talk to the people who are watching because she's just in the in the background pulling faces. <laughs> just like, yeah. Then Poppy comes over and Poppy's there going, "Daddy, what's that? What's that fox doing on the screen? Daddy, that robot's got funny legs. Daddy, that robot's got no arms." I'm like, okay. So, so I was like, "Daddy, that Daddy, why is there blood all over that man's face?" Daddy, that alien looks a bit funny. Daddy, why are you why are you playing why are you playing Killing Floor Two? <laughs> Ooh, three minutes thirty that one. Um. So yeah, so I, I ended the stream really abruptly, and then one of the guys who was watching messaged and was like, and sent me a message and went. Yeah, you, your wife doesn't really get the streaming thing, does she? And I was like, no, mate, <laughs> she doesn't at all. You don't believe me? Uh, I'd say, yeah, probably. Like I said, it used to be pretty good. There you go, Jim. Check it out. The gun does exist. Oh, I've got. Oh, I forgot. I got the perfected predator. I got the receiver enhanced version. That's what the ornament does to it. Oh, that looks cool. Perfected predator. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't going to be much use against this first guy because I'm not going to be able to get close enough to <laughs> use it. Agility perk on what? Of elders. Welcome to you. Dude, I think I've only ever pulled the trigger on it about twice. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean, I mean, basically, it's a shotgun, right, dude? And it fires like this. Watch. Jim. <laughs> it's a burst. It's a burst fire solar shotgun. It's a maze ball. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm going to try and use it on this dude. But I'm not. Cabal strategist, Val it, it can be. It, it can be pretty quick. I've been killed by it a few times. God, that was nuts. Return to Airlock, Guardian. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to run straight down in front of this Vex, this Vex dude as well. I'm going to run straight in front of him, stand underneath him. I didn't get the kill though. <laughs> I'll, I'll look, the best thing about this gun, though, Jim, is the fact that the fire breathes out the end of it. Look. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, this one. Here we go. Oh, three of, three of disappointments. You know, I've only had one exotic in all these runs so far. A servant of Oryx. All right, I'm running straight through to the, under his feet. See if you can kill him before I get there. Challenge is set.
<laughs> I think we found a new weapon combo. Your victory. Solar grenade snipers and, and me just running running blindly towards the boss. Need you back in airlock, Guardian. Oh, I've only got twenty three rounds left. I'm actually gonna use a green ammo synth. Ah, uh, you can't beat a bit of cheeky spindle. Now you got one. How was the run, dude, when you did the spindle run? How many? How long did you have left when you finished it? Ah, dude, when I when I did mine, uh, there was seven seconds left on the clock. Seven seconds. We were pat. Round three. We were pa we were we were panicking. Because we, we, we there was a blight we couldn't see, and we were just free. Texas, the betrayed. Just let us know when you need to do your um, sword mission. Yeah. I think that could be it. I think that could be our quickest run. I'll take us to orbit. I'll take us to orbit now. Right for the scoreboard. I got one kill and finished up. <laughs> one, two, three. That was pretty cool. One kill and finished up. Alright, let's see where we go. Ah, did you rank up at the same time? That must be it, because I ranked up when I got the 249. Very weirdly. 3 minutes 13. That's our quickest one. Yeah. 3 minutes 13. Longest long... Yeah. Oh, let's go to the reef and get out. <clears throat> Dude, I think so with that Lord of Wolves adding the ridiculous, ridiculous shotgun damage at the end. Uh, I'm trying to think. Chaperone might be pretty good as well. That's solar, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty good. Or melting point on a Titan. I think melting point. I, th I think it's melting point and Viking funeral cancel each other out. I know Viking funeral and a tether works together. I'm sure the two solar ones cancel each other out, so you don't get the damage stack. I'm sure someone, some some YouTube person would have tested that and realised that it doesn't work or something. I don't know. Dude, switch, switch now. It's gonna, it's gonna take ten minutes. <laughs> you, you, know, you just have to stand there, will kill him. <laughs> Postmaster's got some. Let's see what post he's got. Crow's eye. Ah, oh. I think. Oh, I got some exotic boots. Didn't even see them. Didn't even see them drop, drop. So I've got two exotics from all them rooms. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. i got a helmet that I didn't actually currently have on my characters. i got the Tychonaut. It's a shame they fucked it up and doesn't take it. It still doesn't change with the shaders. Here we go. Here we go. you got a crow's eye. Please give me a hand of judgment. Or whatever it was, I got no room for it, so surprises at the postmaster. Could have been a primary, could have been a special, because I've got no space in my inventory. Ready. 
Yes! Hand of judgment! Transfer locked. How often do you actually get the gun you want? Now let's see what a shit roll it is. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'll take that. Hand laid stock explosive rounds and outlaw. <laughs> that will do nicely. Right then. I'll take that for a dollar. That is lovely. I just need to, I can't, oh, what, but now comes the, now comes the, what chroma do I put on it? Mm. <laughs> can't decide, but that's, that's good. That's one of the guns I was after sorted. Now, the next thing I need to do when there's a, a better set of uh, modifiers, like grenade kills with catapult, for example, is, uh, is get that 30,000 point, 30,000 point score done. Yeah, stability's never never been uh, good on that. Got some June March as well. So both my exotics turn into Titan exotics. That's fine. I'll get the Titan can have a look at them if they're better than the ones he's got. If we'll keep them. If not, he'll get rid. Let's put the Vex away. I'm not using that. I'll put the put the Vision away as well. I'm not using that. Let's just grab some uh, some, 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 some. What do I need to grab? What haven't I got? What? Why hasn't my... What the fuck? What the hell is going on? Are they in the vault? What the fuck's in the vault for? My armour and weapon parts are in the vault, would you believe? What the hell? Who does that crap? Right then, what, we, what are we going to do now? You, you're off. You got your eyes closed. <laughs> dude, you, dude we'll, we'll, we'll get on and we'll do it before the reset because if the modifiers change to something unfriendly. How did you die, Jim? Come on, God, come on, God. There we go, hand of judgment ready. Get in, blue chroma. Motes are like spunked into it to make it work. Right then. What else can what else can we do to take advantage of this nightfall buff we've got? <laughs> Worries, dude. Take it easy. But yeah, um, I'm going to be around tomorrow morning I think when Oscar's at football so if you, you've got ballet haven't you Jim <laughs> okay no worries dude you take it easy good night bud the reef team in... shall I take a message interaction resolved Let's get rid of those. Oh, I'm glad I've got a hand of judgment back and I'm glad it didn't give me a shitty roll. Although to be fair, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have taken long to run through all that again. Right now. I ain't fuss, mate. Whatever you want to play. Strikes? Um, anything, you want, anything you want specifically from strike chests? Well, we got the nightfall done pretty quick. No yeah. schnooks inviting us. What's schnooks inviting us for? Let me guess. He's got a gap in his raid team and he needs help. Yeah. 
Uh, phase two charge mode is a nightmare. They didn't do that. Oh, if it's if if it's Axis, I ain't even bothered. I got my book finished in April, so Axis challenge, Axis challenge the wizard, the the, the death singers in under two minutes and finishing. Um, uh, Wrath the machine on hard. Haven't done any of it, but didn't, but don't need to. So. Uh, your raid page is empty. You should join us. Should join us on a Crota's End run next week. It's it's one of the easiest ones, and it's good. And, it, and the challenge modes are fairly fairly straightforward. We can definitely sort one of the, sort that out one of the nights because Crota's End is is probably the raid I'm most familiar with. From year one, because it's the one I, I didn't really do Vault of Glass, did it about seven or eight times, but not as much. Then Crota Zen came round, and I actually had a team of people to play it with then. So Crota Zen was just an absolute. We just did it every week on three characters. It got to the point where we would do it every week on three characters on hard mode with three of us, because you, you, you could get away with it. What's Schnook doing? Schnook has a King's Fall raid. Oh, guy ain't doing King's Fall. It's dog shit. It's not even the. It's not even the featured raid. I'll message him back and say not tonight, fella. You're free to join him if you want. But I. The good thing is that it's it's a lot. So you've not done the uh, you've not done the three ninety quota, the new one. They've changed it. Uh, is this another one we should across it? Uh, the... Oh well, I had the I had the wondrous misfortune of um, being begged by my ten-year-old son to help him and his friends finish Crota's End on the Xbox One. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I loaded up my character. I jumped into the raid with them, and I was like, right, okay. And then I could then I could within a minute I could work out why they weren't doing it because because there wasn't anybody arranging anything there wasn't anybody taking charge and, and everyone was just basically running around like headless chickens I and mean, at one point after th after three people had died two people decided to go into the crystal room and just dance and, th and then and then one of them crouched down while the other person leapt over him like playing leapfrog i was like guys it's like i, I want to actually go and do something else in this game i don't just want to um you know, do this for an hour. I said, I said I've got set over 70 clears of Grota in year one. I said, I know what I'm doing. Just listen to me and we'll get it done. And it was the most disjointed Grota kill I've ever done. We ended, There was only three of us left when he died. Um, I told I told them we were going to do three swords. and But it had to be three different people. So we agreed who was who. Ended up being four swords because the third person dot, picked up the sword and then died. So a fourth person had to grab the sword to to get to get the kill, and and they forgot about the ogres. So when he got to, after the second sword, the ogres came out, and everyone had ran back to the crystal room. And I was like, guys, am I down here on my own? The ogre room? I said ogre room after the second sword. So I ended up killing the og the ogres myself. Just oh, just an absolute palaver. Okay, so what should we do then? Uh, have you done your Have you done your Plague Land patrols for all the ridiculous reputation Vanguard rep? Yeah, they can be uh, they can be tedious, but the the beauty of uh, night of a uh, nightfall buff is that your five hundred rep becomes six hundred twenty five, and it goes up very very quickly. And what have we got? Or we could go back into Prison of Elders. We could do the forty, and we could do the forty-one. There's more chance of getting our bounties done.
It'll, it'll, it'll give us a third person. Let's just, let's just hope they're not an idiot. Oh, I'm, I'm um. That's up to you. Do you want to just, do you want to just keep rinsing? Do you want to just keep rinsing the three bosses? I literally, I'm, I'm completely open as to what we, what we get, up, what we, what we shoot. As long as we shoot something. Yeah, let's kill, let's kill boss as well. I think, I think Iron Banner done me. I got done in on Crucible and Iron Banner last week. So. Mayhem is. It depends how you approach it. My approach Mayhem is exactly that in, in, in the, the fact that it's Mayhem, and my entire reason for playing it is to cause mayhem. So, I. Um, I the best way of causing mayhem for me in Iron Banner is trip mine grenades and lots of them. So. Run the run the Ahamkara grasps double double trick mine grenades, getting them back every four seconds or so, and just basically peppering the map with trick mine grenades, and then just running around with a hand cannon shooting anything that moves near them. That's a treat, if I'm honest. It was. Uh... Welcome to Prison of Elders. Prepare for combat. Okay, my screen's gone completely black and it's doing nothing. Round one. Alright then. Are we ready? Probably put a rocket on for That was two of us. They are dead. You <laughs> It was as if Jim didn't really matter. <laughs> Go back to Airlock. Yes. Jim, were you actually were you actually damaging these enemies? I switched to a solar rocket. Oh, it has inventions. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. Solar we cluster bombs. Hello. I've forgotten how much I like the hand for hand to touch. Nice pop on every synth. A servant of Oryx <laughs> hungers. <laughs> cool down lasts longer than the runner can run. I don't think I've killed anything with the, with the scout yet, though. Retreat I've still forgotten how smooth, how smooth it was to use. <laughs> i got four rockets, we'll be fine. Oh, do you, do you, 
Do you remember doing Crowder's Ending Year One when there was no heavy ammo sold by Zer for weeks? And every time you died at Crowder, we took your heavy ammo away. Oh no! Dude, it was like the most ridiculous thing you've ever ever seen in any game. The worst, worst, one of the worst bugs. The, then someone came up with a glitch where if you if you did a certain reload trick on weapons, you could get a, like, you could spawn loads of heavy ammo bricks. And it was you have to literally you get to the crystal room for Crow and someone would say, I need to do the heavy ammo glitch and you're like, oh for fuck's sake. You have to wait like five minutes then to do that before you can go again and then if you fail, you'd be in the same boat with no heavy ammo. Breaker's got shit ready for man. They are dead. You are not. You know what? If one of us gets Lord of Wolves at the end of this, it'll be hilarious. Soz Jim, we, we do apologise. The gun does exist. Look, there it is on my screen. <laughs> You know what I should do? I should transfer. I should transfer it to the uh, to the vault, and then at the end of the end of the game, transfer it back as I hit orbit through Ishtar. So it looks like I dropped it. And Jim will be like, "You fucking, you fucking asshole!" Oh, I've no idea. We worked it out the other day. I've no. We, worked it, we were playing Destiny in the morning. And I worked it out. I've known. I've known Jim for twenty years. 20 years, yeah, we used to work together. Both used to work at, both used to work at Vodafone. Four minutes, 12 for the two of us. Not bad for, yeah. I was using rockets for the first time instead of using like fusion. Icebreaker. Oh, I'm terrible with the icebreaker. I don't know how people play trials with it. I really don't. Going back to my fusion rifle. Going back to my fusion rifle so I can put my Galahorn on. There's a, guy, there's a guy in my uh, in the Twitch community that I joined. There's a guy who's um, who I was watching play Rocket League. Oh, he's oh, he's fat, he's fat, like, funny enough. He's just messaged. He's just for a message. Oh, dude, it's probably till about one a.m. That's what time I stay on till. I was just saying he's he's been lur he's been lurking, watching watching us play. Well, he's had the video open anyway because he's showing up. So, but, uh, but yeah, cheers for that, dude. But. Uh, but yeah, probably till about 1am is my cut off. Three hours is about all I can do in a set in a sitting. Nowadays, now, now I feel old. Welcome to prison. I was 14 fair when I feel every with a broken leg now, I feel every bit of it. Survive. Oh. Uh, that's why we're the dads of destiny. Round one. I was in a car crash, and um, my taxi I was in on the way home uh, went straight went through a traffic light junction on green. Unfortunately, the lady coming towards us in the uh, yeah, turned directly into our path, turned across us, turned right across our lane. And, uh, oh, that, that grenade was woeful. <laughs> Bye. Um, and because it was a, because for me it was just a quick five minute journey, I just I just got in and threw my and, uh, threw my stuff on the back seat. 
I saw nothing of it. Um, but as I felt the brakes apply, I re it's at that point that it, that it dawned on me. Uh, no, um, no seatbelt. So I was like, fuck. Because literally in a real split second, it was a case of felt the brakes apply. A very quick glance through the winds through the front window and saw this car went too close to me, too close to the taxi driver. Taxi, and at that point, I was just um, I just kind of put my right arm up in front of my face because I knew that I was going to get thrown. I kind of slightly turned to the left, so I knew I was going to get thrown right side forward because we were travelling. We were probably travelling probably a little bit faster than the 30. It's a taxi, you know what they're like. Um, and I got thrown off the seat into the into the fold-up seats and uh, fra fractured my femur above the knee. On the right femur above the knee. Um, but it didn't just fracture it, 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 it fractured and then the end of the bow the end of the femur split in two as well. So it was a bit messy. So I now have... You're dead. So I now have um, a metal plate down my right thigh and 11 pins holding my Need you back in air lock, together. Guardian. Nope. And a scar running from just below the kneecap on the right hand on the outside of my leg on the right side to just uh, just uh, just below my thigh. I don't, where, I don't know where the level your boxers would go to. It's a it's probably a twelve inch scar. Yeah, it's grim. Uh, but no, uh, my company only pay. Well, I work for CEX, I'm a store manager. My company, I knew this when I joined the company from HMV, but my company don't pay sick pay. My SS, SSP, so even as a store manager, I'm only on SSP, which has put considerable financial strain on us, shall we say. Texas. Betrayed. Especially as, the, as the, the accident happened in February, and I'm not back at work yet. Uh, I still need another procedure on my on my knee because I can't bend my knee fully. He's gone. <laughs> oh, double galleys. I still Your need. Because my knee only bends about 40 degrees and I can't. I can't. I can walk. Now, because it's been like it's been like 15 weeks since the accident or something. I can walk on my leg, but because it's because of how big a break it was and how big the bone is that broke, it's uh, difficult. Because it's it's like it's like a load breaking a load bearing joint kind of thing. It's the biggest bone in the body, and it's the only one I broke in the accident. Figure it, go figure that. <laughs> you know, the biggest, strongest bone in the body, and it snapped like a twig. Uh, but now, both myself and my wife work in retail. She works part time. I'm, I work full time as a store manager for CEX, and uh, it's just, it's just been a pretty difficult few months. I'm pretty much sitting sitting around the house playing games. Only just recent, only in the last couple of weeks, have I started hobbling around the house without the crutches or the frame, because they actually gave me a Zimmer frame like a seventy-year-old man. Because it's more supportive when you're just getting ready to deal with shit like this. But no, I mean, so what they've got to do? I've got to go back to hospital. They've got to. So they've got to put me under a general anaesthetic again. Yeah. And then they're going to manipulate my knee joints, which sounds every bit as wonderful as it sounds. You know what I mean? It's like, why are you going to put me out to do it? Oh, because we, they're probably going to be quite forceful. Okay, if they tear tendons and ligaments while they're doing it, because Prison literally my knee locks at about 40 welcome. degrees and will not go any further. Live so clearly something is wrong. I don't think I don't think they're manipulating it. Is going to do it. I think. I honestly think they need to do something. Sort of, they need to do another X-ray or another, and look a bit more closely at 
where the callus is forming on the broken bone and how that's impacting on the kneecap and the movement of the knee. Because something isn't right. But they're saying they can fix it by manipulation. I'm like, I'm not buying it. I think I'm going to end up having more surgery. Which would be shit, but... I don't know if it fixes me. Oh, that grenade's whiffing again. Crappy hell. God, for a second now, I thought he was going to get his shield up. That would have been a disaster. How dare it? Quick, quick, the scions are coming. Well. Yeah, it's been a it's been a bizarre year to say the least. Oh right, well, at least this is giving me something to use my uh, my fifteen House of Judgment boosters on. We just keep stacking up from treasure packages and shit. Round two. Hey. What, if I put one on and you put one on? No. As long as one person in the fire team's got it on, it applies to everybody. Just get my, my rockets loaded. Cool. A servant of Oryx hungers Jesus Christ, he can stand even quicker than the other fuckers. Enemies die. I think you he's the quickest live. of the three, really, isn't he? Well as long as you avoid that big red circle back, blast, he, he's like... Just... Guardian. Out of all of them, I think, in the, in the challenge of Elder's boss, I think he's probably the easiest one to kill. God, I remember when challenge first came out, when the first... Well, that's, that, that Cabal dude was in it the first time. Fuck me, that was so hard. You know, it was like, how the fuck did you kill him? Fuck. And he was like, oh, God, one of those flares is, is damageable. Oh, we got it. And then everyone was everyone used to bang their head against brick wall trying to trying to DPS him every time you killed a flare. It was like, no, 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 no. Kill the first flare, wait. He generates his, his next shield, kill the next flare, wait. Kill the third player, and then he's got no shields, then you can damage him. First time I tried it, it was it was a disaster. Thank you. I mean, I remember the first time. I, do you, you play Crucible? You play a lot of Crucible, or? Die. You live. Well done. Yeah, I, I never used to touch Crucible. Um. Ow. But um, do you play Trials? Um, going to the lighthouse was pretty much the last big thing I needed to do in Destiny. And thankfully the Stu and one of his friends. Uh, is there no game sound at all? Thankfully the Stu and one of his uh, friends were happy to um, carry me. They gave me some instructions on what to do and we got it done. It was great. Uh, and then, but the first when you first, when you when you say you played it once and that didn't last long, was that the first time it came out? When it came out with House of Wolves. All oh, right. 
it's it's a, now it has bounties and the, and the ability to grind for gear. It's a damn sight better than it used to be. It used to just be play. That was it. You played if you, if you won, you got rewarded. If you if you if you if you got your nine wins, you got rewarded. If you didn't, you got fuck all. It was that hardcore originally. It was just that was it. You didn't have any kind of uh, well. There wasn't there wasn't any any drops halfway through. There wasn't any um, end game rewards. Awful. You just got you literally. If you didn't go flawless, you got nothing. It was like pulling teeth. Now the two guys I used to do the raids with all the time, they they were really keen on playing this when it came out, and I was like, yeah, yeah, fine, I'll give it a go, give it a go. We played it on that opening night, first night of it, because it was when they launched that Mercury map. You know, the one with the rotating rocks in the middle kind of thing, where the B flag is. Burning Shrine. It launched with the Burning Shrine map, that was the first map it was on. <clears throat> and very quickly it became clear that if you spawned outside you had the advantage which you had the sun at your back. And people couldn't even fucking see you. Um, so we were like, we played for about an hour and we won I think three rounds in the entire time we played. That was three rounds, not matches, rounds. And we were like, this is fucking horrible. Oh, I said, guys, I've been playing this for an hour. I'm not being funny. I'm not going to waste any more of my time on a game mode I'm not going to get any rewards from. This is not for me. And then my mates were like, oh man, you're not being... That's not really helpful, is it? You should stick around. Oh. And I was like, I'm sorry, but no. And the flayers have only just spawned. I saw them spawn. <laughs> they they can kind of spawn in at the back in a line of three on this circular place at the back. I've never seen that before. So I'm usually too busy hiding. And they spawn in, they kind of they got in a lot nice line of neat line of three. Ooh, 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 ooh. But no, it was it was horrific. Trials of Osiris was horrific. I'd honestly say Trials of Osiris is horrific. It's really, really frustrating. Because you got you got two well, two guys like I played Stu and that I played with. Oh, they were so efficient. It was go here, do this, go there, do that. When this happens, do this. Have your loadout set up like this and do this and do this. And it's like wow. Um and I listened and did what they say. And on the second card, we got to, we got to the lighthouse. Because on the, cause on the first card, I made a bad decision in the ninth match. I got killed when I should have revived Stu. It was one on one. We were 4 2 down. I re instead of reviving Stu, I tried to kill the Titan. Whereas if I'd have revived Stu, we'd have won because Stu had his super. Heavy ammo, so I need another ratio. I'm getting overshield. Oh, and he died because of the water. What did he die from? The burning, or did you fire a rocket? Your victory tells <laughs> the tale. Okay. Return to Airlock. He basically knew, knew I was visiting and thought, fuck it, yeah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Yeah, I said, like I said to Jim earlier, if you message him again, if you just remind him that he's agreed to do this, <laughs> because you know, you, like Trials of Osiris, what goes away in a f in a few weeks, isn't it? Or is it just is it is it the last week before the launch of DT that it goes? Can't remember the exact date, but it ain't around for much. It ain't around for much longer. The betrayed. 
Oh, I might have got it. I need to watch that Castlevania on Netflix. Well, that ain't even got in the room yet. Bye, back. bye, pal. <laughs> wow. Well earned. Channel this. Channel my zombie dance. There you go. That's so quick. That's ridiculous, man. The only, I think the only quickest, quicker way I've done this was when it was when we had one which was specialist and solar burn. Because then it was just everyone got the icebreakers out every round. And all you could do was thump, 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 dead, go, run away. It was just insane. Oh man, I'm so glad I got this hand of judgment. Explosive and outlaw, although for crucible I could switch it to explosive and third eye. I like explosive scouts in crucible, they're really good fun. It piss, it's because that little that little little flared explosion bit. I think I can only imagine when I get hit by explosive rounds. I, that, the little flash pisses me off. So I like I like using the burning eye, or I like uh, I like using my crit, old cryptic dragon just to piss people off. I'm quite close to leveling up this again, you know. I'm only about four or five more runs from leveling up again. It's only eight. That's only about four minutes of run. It's half hour. <laughs> the most efficient farming of. Oh, oh, I'm up to. No, I haven't generated a single orb since Jim left. <laughs> still only on. I'm still only on. Uh, 55. Although. Heavy weapon kills is going up, so I'm using the Galahorn then. So. What was our cookies one? 3 minutes 13. Just make a note of it so I don't forget. Welcome. That's the quickest I've ever done it. Three thirteen. Bite, kill. So that's like survive. a minute for each round, and six seconds to run back. Even though it's more like twenty seconds for each round, and two min two minutes twenty of running around like a headless chicken. Well, I wasn't lying when I said that I'm like I'm a challenge of elders leveling. <laughs> In my, in my Twitch description. Oh, I got him with a grenade that time. Fabulous. I took a swan dive. <laughs> he, we we hit him in the face as he jumps. They are dead. So he took a little swan dive forward. Superb. Hey, you got an exotic. Is that the first? Is that the second tonight? First tonight? Oh, get him. Oh, the, the solar one's taking damage. Oh, let's get out of there. What well, he kills me. Embarrassingly. So anybody watching and listening, um, all we're pretty much doing is farming Round challenge two. of elders for reputation to rank up House of Judgment to get these awesome guns like this awesome hand of judgment which I'm modeling right now hand laid explosive outlaw it's a beauty 
it's taking us roughly four minutes of run with just the two of us, give or take. So that's 250 rep every four minutes, that's 15 times 250, it's like 3,700 rep an hour. Which is quicker than trying to do one run of scale as we worked out, so we're sticking to this. He's gone, let's go. <laughs> if anybody die. watching you plays this on PS4 and has and wants to uh, make up the third man in the fire team, you're more than welcome to uh, yes. let me know. We have a space. Check your house of judgment reps, see if you need about 1250 reps, that's about how many more runs we've got to do. So about 1700 more reps and all that. There we go. Round three. That's 1708. I've got. Five more runs will rank me up. You should be a little, you should be a little more, I think. Either way, we've got we've got another half hour or so, so there's plenty of time to get it done. Well, I've got another half hour or so, so I've finished the stream and get to bed. You can, you can play it all night if you want. Oh crap, I'm out, of I'm out of heavy ammo. I've got ages left on my cooldown. Crap man, what's going on here? Why is this guy dying? This is really poor. So poor he, su he suppressed us. That's just Victory. awful. Well, I should just, to be honest, I should have just popped my radiance and le leather leathered him. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do on the third round every time. As long as I've got my super at that point, fuck it. I'm just going to pop radiance and burn the crap out of him. Because those snipey bastards at the back have killed me a couple of times. Did you get your 250 rep for that? Oh, cool. So it is worth it. Oh, 61 orbs. Hello, orbs. Hey, if we get, I tell you what, you should, you could do to speed your rep up on the taken boss. If you just, if you want to get your heavy weapon kill bounty done, just switch to your sword. Switch to your sword on the second the second round and uh, just run around until you got your heavy kills done. <laughs> I know we're getting there slowly, slowly like this, but the Galahorn tends to track the main, tends to track the boss, doesn't it? So, ah, you have you? Ah, you've been using it more than I'm by, haven't you? So, I've got 18 kills to do, I think. 18 heavy kills. <laughs> Four to make them up. Managed 43 of them, but that was mainly in the run that I did solo the night. Yeah, I need four more, five more runs, and I've ranked up. I, I, I was quite surprised when I checked. I was going through some of my. Uh, Characters just trying to pick off old bounties and get them cleared off the off the quest list. Um, well, Warlock's always been my main since the base, since the original Alpha and Beta. For well um, my Warlock, elders. apart from the two the two bounties you get every week from the Iron Lords, Kill, every single quest every has, has been done. I'm a Warlock. The, the abandoned quest Keok has nothing. They're all done. Not even an abandoned. Oh, wow. uh, do you remember the Halloween quests? Stick the candy on your head and jump around like a fool dressed as Atheon or something. He even managed to do all that. Cabal strategist. Pop heavy. Yep. 
Pop the heavy sin. Pop the heavy sin. Oh, whiffed him again. Oh, both of them. That's right, I got a grenade right on his face. Thank you. I salute his valiant effort. Enemies die. You live. Done. Go back to airlock. Yes. I don't think I've got a precision kill with this gun yet. Mainly because of the explosive rounds, I reckon. These kill Certainly hasn't I haven't triggered our outlaw yet with it. I, I, I say that and the next <laughs> and subs law, the next kill I get triggers outlaw. journey back to the airlock like, lasted longer than he did. He's such a bag of crap, he dies so quickly. Oh. And it's neck and neck on the kills. Round three. Catch kills away. Okay. Yeah. My daughter was going, my three year old daughter was going through a load of DVDs on the unit under the TV. Oh, yeah, came across a Fraggles a DVD trade. and uh, all sorts of stuff. Real Ghostbusters, raccoons. One of the benefits of working at CEX, all these old cartoons and stuff comes in, come in, and I'm like, yeah, I'm having that. I'm having that. You know what, I forgot to pop Radiance. <laughs> I said I'll pop Radiance at the end and I'll we'll just rinse it. I forgot. Exotic chest piece, yes, because that's what I need. Down Fraggle Rock. Oh, 67 orbs. Ooh, so it went, so went right then. Oh. So how long have you been part of the Dads of Destiny clan? Since you started playing Destiny, or is it something you stumbled across like I did around? <laughs> yeah. Mine was kind of weird. I mean, I set up a clan originally with my old game station colleagues, and there was about ten of us. And then, slowly but surely, they all, rather, unlike me, where I just got, I went, this game's, this game's fucking awesome. I'm just gonna play this. Um, most of the guys, oh sorry, let's get started. I'm wasting, wasting valuable seconds here. Well, that, that's, that's a whole other run we could have done. Um, <coughs> Yeah, started with uh, a game, get a clan called GS Veterans that I set up. Then 
people just slowly drifted away and changed, and, and moved to other clans and stopped playing or stopped playing. So I joined one called another mate set up, which has this ridiculous name. I think it was called Resonate Memories. I don't even know where he got that from. And I was just like, that makes no fucking sense. And I remember mooching around a bit, and, and I, I came across this Dad's a Destiny thing online. I started looking into it. And I was like, yeah, go on, I'll join one of the clans. So I joined one. And then I realised I couldn't get a straightforward Dads of Destiny tag because there's only a hundred, and of course there's fifty. You know, there's like fifty odd thousand members of the various Dads of Destiny affiliated clans. There's a ridiculous number of people in Dads of Destiny clans around the world. So I was like, right. So I found one that was, a, that was PS4 and UK based. Do not fail. But I didn't really get around to playing with anybody. I just. I just kind of, you know, it was just there on my tag, but I didn't ever interact with anybody. And plus, the clan list wasn't in the game back then. <clears throat> I knew nothing of Discord or anything like that, so I had no way of talking to these people. Didn't know, didn't like it. Didn't use LFG or the 100. I was just like, oh man, what's the point of being beat the clan? And then a mate of mine, Marvin, was like, oh, just um, we could do a couple more UK-based clan members in my, in my clan. It'd be be brilliant if you joined us. I joined his clan, and then, like you said, you just got. I've missed again. How do I keep missing with the grenades? Just got fed up with the the, the timings of it all. Hi, Valarune. <laughs> I still, I commend your efforts. Your victory. But yeah, the timings just got daft. You know. Oh, we're going gonna, we're gonna to run a raid. Okay, cool. Yeah, what time are you starting? Right, that's 3am. I can't start at 3am. And on the one occasion I did stay I did stay up to, to start this raid at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was just like, I was like, peeing my eyes out. I was like, I match things up my eyes. And then worst of all, two of the guys were like, oh yeah, we've got to go to the gym now. We'll, we'll, we'll pick it up in an hour or so's time. I was like, are you, are, you, are you fucking kidding me? You realise that me and Craig here, we're in the UK, and we've stayed up till 3am, it's now 5am, and you've just decided you're not going to do, do the raid. That's, that sucks, man. You, you, you are kidding, aren't you? No, no, no. Always legit at this time. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Your victory um, tells and then, and then that, and the final straw was when I joined them. I joined them at, a, at like a normal UK time, so it was quite early for them or whatever it was. And, and we were doing Kings Four, and I said to them, "I've done it a few times, and, and the one thing I, I can do is now I'm a warlock, and people frown upon it. I can do the jumping at the Oryx battle easy." I'm, I'm quite good at it. It's the only part of the raid I'm actually quite good at. I know I've got to jump around, collect the brand, drop down, kill the knight, take the brand off the knight, kill the knight, get to the middle. It's all straight, straightforward practice. Except they, they, they wouldn't let me do it. And the guy who was doing it kept dying. I was like, guys, let me run the brand. I said, It'd be fu I'm, I'm, it's the one part of the raid I'm that no, they wouldn't let me do it. I thought, like, you know what, guys? I ain't. I can't be doing with this. And then one by one, they all, uh, as the guy failed again and again. Is he gone? He's still there. No, oh, he's gone there. One by Your one, they all dropped out. Hell. And they, they didn't tell me they were dropping out. I was literally we were about to reset for another run, and it was on like boom, 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 left the fire team, left me and one guy standing there, and then he went, I, th I think I think they're not coming back, and then he left, and he just left me standing in the in like the throne room on my own, and I was just like, 
Okay, that sucks. And then uh, another friend of mine, Jason, was in da joined Dads of Destiny originally on when I first joined, and uh, he'd been putting UK PS4, the one where I'm in now. And I'd see, and he's he'd been he'd come back to the game after a couple of months away, and he was playing all the content. He was going teams to do all this, that, and the other. And I was like, dude, what's going on? And he told me that basically what he'd done was he'd joined this this Discord chat, or and he'd done. He joined someone else and he was constantly having people to play with and I was like, that sounds awesome, man. And then out of the blue I got a message off him one night about 11 o'clock on a Friday because uh, he was doing a raid with Schnook and they were stuck at they were stuck at Oryx. <laughs> uh, not Oryx, at Crota. It wasn't going very well and could I help them? And I was like, yeah, I suppose, yeah, why not? And I joined in and, and it was one of those nights when, when Crota doesn't behave himself. So you're talking best part of two and a half hours of him just not fucking dying. Uh, at this point, everyone else, everyone else was dads of destiny. I was the only, I was the odd one out. And then I, I went back onto a bungee app after that, and I was like, I dropped snook a message and was like, Dude. Prison of Elders. I said, can I rejoin the? I want to rejoin the clan. I was in it before, and uh, yes. literally, I got accepted within about an hour. Which was great because then, then I was like immediately got back, back onto the dad's Discord, and started talking to people, and it was like so much better than any of the clan I've been in. I wish I'd have been a bit more talkative the first time around. Yeah. It's stuff like this though, you get very few people want to even do this because, you know, oh, what do I want to do how's the judgment for? What do I want to do that for? Because well, some of the guns are fucking awesome. Ah, oh, finally hit him. He's not going to last the stairs, look at him. Bless him. <laughs> he didn't even get down to us that time. Victory, well earned. I mean, I mean, you know, I'd pop a cabal for a glimmer booster, but there's no point. We only ever kill one of them. The other thing, the other thing this um, this stream community do is quite clever. They set they set multi links up so you can actually link, like say, four to five different streams to one link to one browser window. So I can open, I can, I can effectively watch five streams at once, which puts, which means my my one account counts as a viewer for five other five other team members simultaneously. Which is pretty cool, except it makes my PC run like shit. <laughs> really, really bad. Hey. Okay. I only got into it recently because just looking for something to something to occupy my time. Hey, I sniped him that time. Because I might as well use my winged well word. I don't use it for I don't use it for anything else. Go back to airlock. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, so what do you do? For, what do you do for a living anyway, Andy? Ah, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I, I know. What you mean. I think the last software engineer I met was uh, a guy who chopped in my little CX store, and uh, he was he was he was the software engineer, and, and he said one of the main things he's responsible for that people hate hating for is um, some of the software to do with the um, you know those tills the uh, the self service tills. 
He said, it, it, it said, if I'm honest, I said, I'm responsible for the voice that says, unknown oh, item in the bagging area. <laughs> and I went, you sir are a douchebag. I, 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 I was going to give him a discount, but I changed my mind when I found that out. He's a goner. I've got to suppress the amount of shit. Victory. To be fair, I stood back there and I was letting burn to death because he was standing in a, he was standing at the side of a grenade. I can't have much left now. I am two more runs away from leveling up. You might, you might be four more runs away, I think. And I reckon in those four runs, I should get my heavy, heavy bank done. Should. <laughs> we'll see. See if the Gallagher ranks track something other than the boss, which would be nice. Got some, I've got a couple of things to post here as well, but I cannot be bothered to check what they are. Yeah, the one benefit about working at CX while I've been off is that um, I can buy a game. Staff policy allows us to staff. When I went to Game Station years ago, we were allowed to borrow pre owned games. So you'd sign it out on the log and you'd borrow a pre owned game. And as long as there's more than one copy in the store, you could borrow it and you could take it away and, and play it um, and bring it back within seven days. CEX's policy is, is, is similar in principle, but you have to actually buy the game. So you buy the game, but you get two weeks, and, with it, and when, as long as you bring it back within two weeks, you get a full refund. Welcome so, to so it's genius. So I was playing Ryan this morning, Prepare and as long as I get that finished by next Friday, I'll get my money back. And I'll, 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 have, been, I'll have been able to stream the whole game on on Round Twitch, one. every every act, every chapter of it, every act streamed on Twitch as well. And then I might try and pick up. Um, I like the look of that near automata. It looks pretty pretty. Anything that's got like a um, post-apocalyptic Mad Maxy type setting, although the Mad Max game I thought was shit. Um, anything like that, I enjoy playing. You think we all like alternate timelines or Okay, we're gonna end up this guy's not going down. Ah shields up. Fuck it. I don't know. Uh, I think tiredness crept in a little bit. Need to find the void dude. I've got solar over here. So anybody who's watching, you're now seeing us do this properly, almost. Maybe. Unless we just wipe. Oh, I actually, I'm actually dead dead, I've got no, I've got no super. So, okay, solar one's not there. Void one's are here. Boyd one's down. <laughs> and he was standing in the grenade and died himself. Bless. Enemies Grabbing that green ammo I'm running. You live. Well done. So yeah, that was almost the legitimate way of doing Retreat it. But to in, a, in, a such, in a such viewers as we made him, made him put his shield up. Yeah, the lad who was watching earlier, um, 
There's a, it's a 17 year old lad who's in the same Twitch community uh, streaming Rocket League. Now, I've never played Rocket League, but my understanding is is unchanged from having watched him play. It's basically remote control cars knocking a ball around. Uh, it's just um, kind of not my cup of tea at all. Yeah, I mean, it was given away. If you've had PS Plus for the last 12 months, it was given away on PS Plus, so you should have it in your in your download history. I I have never loaded it up, so. How's he going? Christ. Oh, wow, he is like the weakest of weak bosses, man. Retreat to airlock. That he's just. Uh, what? Why is he even called a boss? Yeah, he's just a bit of a non-entity, really. Isn't he? He's like, oh, oh don't throw any solar grenades at me. I don't like it. It hurts, it burns. Round three. Uh, I'll just, I'm with you. Texas, I'm, I'm coming. The betrayed. Oh, yeah, of course. What? That's embarrassing. I popped my radiance and then got... Eat rocket fuckface. <laughs> How dare you? Victory. He was mocking well us then. Earned. Allowed us to pop our ratings and then kill. Well, actually, it was a sniper at the back killed me, I think. That would have been embarrassing. If, if we'd have wiped on a round. Don't! Oh. Right. One more for me, and I'm ranked up. That's it. Oh, one more heavy kill. Well, that's going to rank me up once I get the heavy kill bounty done. The reputation will just be a bonus. The, the reputation for finishing will be a bonus. Ah, oh, cool. Well, that's going to put you quite close. How many, how many more do you need now to rank up? I'm super confused because I've got a quest marker appeared over the reef. That's weird. I haven't, I haven't popped a bounty, I haven't completed anything to turn in. I'm not ranked up. Why don't you just pop back to the Vestian Outpost for a second? I want to see what that is because I shouldn't have anything. I shouldn't have anything on. Mafrizar? Are... Maybe the Queen's finally turned up once to say hello. <laughs> you know, the Queen who was marvellously absent throughout the whole of House of Wolves. Oh, I think. I think... If there's one thing I'm disappointed about with Destiny 2, even before it's released, is that Luke Smith has come out and said that, in his opinion, the story of the Stranger is complete. 
if there was one person whose story was left on a massive fucking plot hole, oh, it's the fucking stranger. You know, she's she disappeared into thin air, or time travel, or the Vex network, or whatever it is. She's she vanished. She gave you a gun and, and vanished. It's Varix. Why has Varix got her? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you idiot. Cumulative score. Oh, you idiot. The cumulative score bounty just put just leveled me up and then he gave me an Aegis of the Reef, which is the, which is the pulse rifle. <laughs> That's what it is. It's because I hit the 90,000 cumulative score for the week. 93. <laughs> cumulative score, 93,500. High, high score, 66,695. Yes, I got another piece of chest armor which I don't really need unless it's better than the one I've got, and it's not. So goodbye. My keeper's dread, keeper's chest, keeper's cloak chest armor is like top tier, and a really bad house of wolves bond to go away. Right, how, how many more do you need to level up? So two runs, cool. At your service, guardian. I'm just going to have to get rid of these at the cut. Cool. Then we'll get it done and we'll be done by 20 past 1. That's probably. That 8,000. Oh, I'll get you a chest, but I'll get you an armor piece. Oh, cool, I've just got a Starfire Protocol. Conveniently, that's the same one that Zer's selling this week. That's not a chest, not a chest piece I use. My warlock very rarely uses anything other than the gauntlets. Yeah, I either use, depending on which subclass, I use the relevant gauntlets, and if I'm playing Crucible. I tend to switch to the affiliate aspects because it basically gives you a built in snapshot. People say those gauntlets are ugly, but I think they look, for, I think they look pretty smart. You can clearly see the design, they were meant to be some kind of exotic given away in Trials of Osiris because the Egyptian kind of style of them. But for whatever reason, I just think things like Trials of Osiris and, and Rise of Iron were kind of not rushed, but I don't think they were, were exactly what they were meant to be. And there's something about Trials, for example, it's just that Age of the Reef is shit. Is it like that? At least got one good gun out of the uh, out of doing that. I just hope they don't make the end game PvP and Destiny 2 welcome. completely un un unreachable for the majority of players. But didn't someone didn't they work out the stats once and something like five percent of the player base had been to the lighthouse or something? Round one. And it's like well, that's 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 for fun for everybody. Especially when no. Especially when you get things like you get people who get to the lighthouse and then keep playing in the same pla playlist against the people who are still trying. So you get pub stomped in like game three or four and you're like, what am I playing this shit for? I just need his health to back up, that's not right.
Oh, he's gone anyway. Enemies die. You live. Well done. Return to Airlock, Guardian. The fly is killing you. Did you upset him? Yeah, you can see you got teleported. I'm not letting Andy kill anybody! Round two. Okay, let's get the galley loaded. Let's get the good get the solar grenade ready to burn him down. A servant of Oryx hungers for your life. That was bizarre. Heavy hitter bounty just popped when I killed myself. I think I think what happened was Enemies die. You as I ran down the middle and fired a rocket, a second rocket, I was I, take, I was right behind the Taken. Retreat. To and I think he detonated on the Taken because of the proximity that's built into the Gallahorn and it was weird because it popped the heavy hitter bounty. It seemed to be popping it on my death with my own rocket. I'll pop that one. One second. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Friend? Look at that. <laughs> That's bizarre. Nine kills to one, and I'm bottom of the leaderboard. That's hilarious. Round three. Yes. I strategically killed the big guy. Alright. Two grenades, then two rockets, then radiance and burn him. Here we go. Texas! The betrayed! I took the snipers out of the back. Oh, he went down quickly. Your that was more like tells it. The tale. Oh, yeah. My phone battery's dying. Oh, I can't do that. Seventy-five orbs generated. Still need thirty, uh, twenty-eight precision kills. Can't see me getting there. Oh, I'll probably end up going into. Going into it solo at some point and just picking them off one by one. So the, he <clears throat> the heavy kills one, usually what I do is I just start a level, just start it on my side and just, just run around with the sword until I've got it. I was doing all the Queen's Wrath bounties earlier because I was trying to get some better roll Queen's gear. Not, I know all I ever seem to get on the Warlock now is bloody armbands. Always get the Queen's armband. Queen's armbands. For fuck's sake, I have this gear in year one. I don't need. I just want. I think I'm still missing the Queen's helmet on the Hunter, and I think the helmet and the boots on the Titan. So I, I went 
in year one, the first first PvE event they did was called Queen's Wrath. And it was the back of the tower opened up, Petra was standing there, she sold, gave you bounties Prison to do, and she had three blue guns to buy. And then by doing her bounties there was a ship and a sniper rifle you could get that were legendary. Um, but her bounties were like, would, you, would send you in on like a high level, like a, like a high level version of a story mission from year one. And some of them were absolute bastards. <sighs> but you also got lots of legendary armor. And they had to tweak it halfway through because people were just doing it to get the legendary armor to dismantle it. Into the upgrade gear you needed to upgrade your raid armor. But they only wanted you to get that upgrade gear from the raid. So they were like, oh, isn't it right? Oh god, he didn't even come down off the top that time. <laughs> Victory. And there's the flyers just teleported in. Wondering what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Retreat to Fairlock. That was quick. I've worked it out right, this should be your leveling up one, isn't it? Yeah. Mark can still do maths at half past quarter past one in the morning. Barely. Yeah, so when year one when I did that I did that, I got the I got the shader, I got the ship, I got the sniper, I got all the like all the rare gear. And so for when that when that event went away, none of that stuff was obtainable anymore. So it was pretty cool to be running around, we were one of the only guys to have this that the Queen's ship, one of the only guys to have the supremacy sniper rifle. Oh my god. <laughs> Your victory. Oh that guy is undeserving of the title boss. He really is. Need you back in airlock, Guardian. What do you mean need me back in airlock? I've only just left. Yeah. I didn't even get I haven't seen any part of that arena apart from that, that channel down the middle. I mean what is on the left and right? I think the only only the only way this could be going quicker, um, obviously a third person for DPS. But if if um, airborne was on, because once with airborne, as soon as the solar grenade hits, you just take a little jump in the end, the damage like goes up by a massive amount. As the damage ticks over, the uh, you take a little leap. Oh, those numbers! Those numbers got bigger. Brilliant. Texas. The betrayed! Texas, the dead! <laughs> oh, didn't even load the gunner, come on. Killing tempting fate. Oh, weapon parts. Thought that was an exotic shit. Yeah, so thought that was an exotic. It was a greenie. Especially in that in that round when the bright light comes on and you're like, ah. it's not bad, not bad. I can't believe not one of us has got an exotic from when I all your wolves or anything. That's just... That's daft. You used to get one every couple of runs. Nothing. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to El Rufio. Oh, 
perfect. So even if you hadn't ranked up on that run, the cumulative score would have ranked you up. Okay, go grab your gear. I'm gonna go and uh, decrypt my crap, cra crappy engrams. Yeah, I think it's time to call it a night. I've learned much about our new world. Why not? I expect you to return to the of Ah, I'll be the postmaster probably if you're full. Oh, lucky, lucky you. No. Oh, that, that take me a while. That's probably because you're playing with me and it's used to usually giving it to me. I apologise for that. He's taking his crow's eye frustration out on you. Right then. Time to time to sign out. It's been a pleasure. Nice chatting to you. Thank you for joining joining in and, and submitting yourself to the uh, to my uh, rather small but still uh, their audience. So we didn't embarrass ourselves too much, and we set a pretty decent record of three minutes thirteen. That was pretty cool. No worries for that. And you've got the nightfall done as well, so double bonus. Yeah, right then. I will catch you uh, hopefully, maybe sometime over the beta, if not before. And uh, maybe get a couple of runs in on that, or some crucible or something. Just for a laugh. Right, dude. Thank you for that. I will catch you soon. Good night. Take it easy, bud. Good night. Right, that was me and the Dance of Destiny guys. Absolutely rinsing Chandra Elders enough to get leveled up twice, so that's at least 20 plus runs of Chandra Elders. And with a nightfall thrown at the start. Uh, we were going to do Skolas, but um, in terms of time to reputation, it was definitely quicker to do that. I mean, three minutes, sub four minutes for some of those runs. It's pretty cool. So. Um, Thanks for watching if you did, uh, please follow if you fancy it, um, it's going to be more Destiny next week but mainly the Destiny 2 beta from Tuesday evening at about 6 o'clock, I'm going to try and get on straight away and stream it, but that's always hanging on the family, um, oh, excuse me. it's 1am here, almost half past 1 so it's a bit late, but thanks for watching. Um, it's been emotional. Well, could that be the hay fever making my eyes water? I don't really know. It's tired and I need, need a cup of tea before I go to bed. Thanks a lot. Catch you all soon.